told John before he went on today, besides a little Geritol in his coffee, all he needed was some confidence. He got that confidence with his first match victory. Let's see what happens against Walter Ray. What was that? Concussion, though? Okay. He's amazing. This is his attempt at a double. Ray is most dangerous when he's behind in a match. And right now, Johnny has the chance to put him way behind. It's very important. Fourth frame. Johnny's championship track to win the Triple Crown. He won the 1971 Tournament of Champions, the 1977 U.S. Open, and the 1980 PBA National Championship. Now he has five in a row. Vietnam resident or uh, veteran is on the left lane. Halfway. Nine Norm Duke. Hundred and nine thousand for Duke. Seventy nine for Walter Ray. Okay. Five more. And as we said, perfect game today, $100,000 true value hardware. 47-year-old veteran, two different personas, one on the lanes of a very aggressive, as you can see, tough player and a very soft-smoking demeanor off the lanes. John is opinionated but soft-spoken, has the first seven, eighth frame. <laughs> here but the spotlight is on this man the graphic tells it eight consecutive let's watch John was sitting with me when Walter had 10 in a row two weeks ago, and he thought he, Walter would shoot 300. John's been in this position one other time. He bowled a 298 on ABC television. He said, I will never shoot a 298 again. He, if he can get these three, it's worth 100,000. All right, two more. He pumped. Two weeks in a row, we've had a player with 10 in a row. Goble got to 11 last week. John's going for 11. Here we go. think of anybody finer to win it all match in hand $100,000 bonus if he strikes on this ball 